Where there is public art, people are generally happier, the local economy is stronger, and crime rates are lower. This has made public art a well-accepted principle of urban design, one that social scientists and governments have been studying since at least the 1980s. The city of Tampa is home to over 800 pieces of public art, and its collection is growing. Art can help a community flourish because of the feelings that it creates. Yala Ford, a world-renowned multimedia artist, best known for her public art, her work is exhibited in museums in cities around the world. She calls Tampa home. Day to day, we're all looking for a space that's happiness. Private art and public art, really the only distinction is access. That's why public art's very important. Public art is not an art form, it's its own genre. Murals, sculptures, architecture, a growing number of public and private partnerships has turned Tampa Bay into a canvas for artists, transforming the city one block at a time. The visual arts within a city is just the heartbeat in many, many ways. It is their identifier. You have to have the arts. Robin Nye is an expert in contemporary public art. There's been lots of studies. When you are engaged in art, it's really been proven that you just are less judgmental, more receptive to ideas. You feel like you've been heard, like you've been seen. It really is the speaking and the emotional heart of a city. I started creating public works because how easy is it to create something that's a box? How hard is it to create something that becomes hope? Critics of public art argue its impact is hard to measure. But as Tampa Bay's public art scene has exploded, so has the quality of life for residents, visitors, and Tampa's artists. Tampa is in the middle of a renaissance. It's a place that is encouraging the upliftment of art and artists, making art a destination for people to come here and to take art seriously. Tampa's collection of public art is free for everyone. All you have to do is step outside. <laughs>